We can't, we can't achieve gender parity if we don't show up to be counted. So the women who have been inspired to actually run for elective seats, it's not going to be easy because they're up against men who've been sitting on seats and have resources. But I want to tell them that it's not about resources. You've had many, many people try to run for office and they didn't have, they had resources, but they didn't win the seats. So it's not about resources, it's about how you present yourself. Uh, of course, with 50% of the population being women, we expect that more women should be elected, but somehow we still haven't been able to convince our own that they need to vote for women. Now, people say, oh, I don't want to vote for somebody just because she's a woman. I want to vote for her because she, uh, her or him because he's a good leader. So what is a yardstick? If you haven't given the woman the platform to lead, how can you tell whether she's good or she's bad? So I feel that women are always judged very harshly. Uh, men don't want us in their space. Nairobi has 85 wards, five only were elected women. When you're nominated, you don't really have, when you're nominated, you don't really have um, um, resources. So uh, in the constituencies of Nairobi, 17, only one was a woman. So we need to have 50-50, why? Because some of the issues that are emotive, single mothers, widows, require women in positions to be able to actually champion those issues. Like sanitary towers, a parliament full of men, it was going to be very difficult to understand that these girls need sanitary towers. And even now we have budgetary constraints. We're only giving public schools. We're not giving community and mission-based schools. We're discriminating and we shouldn't. So we need more women because we are a society of men and women. And we need to articulate some of the issues that are for women. And uh, we find that men always do whatever they can to protect themselves. So we need to make sure that there are women there who can actually stand up and be counted for other women.